TikTok, TikTok. Exactly one month from today, parts of the Fox 55 viewing area will experience totality from a total solar eclipse we've been telling you about. We have. Now, if you can't get your hands on those protective eyeglasses, yeah, you, you might not worry about it too much because Fox 55's David Tillmans is joining us to show you a device that you can make quickly and easily and safely enjoy the eclipse. If you're not able to get a pair of eclipse glasses such as these for April 8th's total solar eclipse, you may still be in luck. What I have in front of me are items to make a pinhole projector such as this one right here. I made it at home in just a few minutes. I didn't even have to go to the store to get any of the items I needed to make it. And I'm going to show you how to make it right here with all of the items sitting right here in front of me. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you that you should never look at the sun with your naked eye unless you have proper protection such as the these eclipse goggles. However, a pinhole projector such as this one will allow you to look at the eclipse projected onto a piece of paper. So let's get started showing you how to make this pinhole projector. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of white paper or an envelope and a cardboard box such as this cereal box. The first thing you're going to want to do is trace the bottom of the cardboard box onto a piece of white paper. Once you have traced it, you're then going to cut out that piece of white paper and you're going to have a piece just like this. You're going to stick it into the bottom of your cereal box. From that point, you're going to cut two square to rectangular holes out of the bottom of the box. You're going to have it kind of looking just like this. And if you have a cereal box like I do, you see that middle part, you're going to want to take some tape and just tape it right together to keep it closed. And that will also keep those two square boxes separated. You'll have something that looks just like this. From this point, the next thing you'll need is a piece of aluminum foil. You'll take the aluminum foil cut out to fit your square hole and you're gonna cover just one of these square holes. You're gonna leave one open so that you can put your eyes through. You're going to have something that looks a little bit like this. And from this point, the next thing you're going to do is take your push pin, you're gonna push one small hole into your aluminum foil, and at this point, you have completed your solar viewer. Look how quick that was, look how easy that was. Now, before we look at it, again, you cannot look at the sun with your naked eye. Instead, to use your viewer, you're going to take it and you're going to put your back to the sun and you're going to allow the sun to shine through that small pinhole in the aluminum foil. Now, if you can't see anything while you're using it first, just move around a little bit and allow the sun to get its light through there. When the eclipse is happening, if you do it properly, the eclipse should project all of the partial stages of the eclipse onto that white piece of paper and you could experience the eclipse safely. That is pretty cool. Thank you, David Tillmans. Brian, we now have a new use for our cereal boxes. Yeah, the best part about <laughs> it, most people who are wearing their solar glasses, you know, mm -hmm. they won't be able to see you staring into a cereal box and wonder what the <laughs> heck you're doing. That's true. You can visit the Eclipse page on our website, WFFP.com, for more coverage leading up to the big day. And you can also join us here on Fox 55 News for our Total Eclipse special. We're going to have live coverage on April 8th, starting at 2.30, which is a half hour before totality. Hits.